Good afternoon. I was going to say good morning, but it's actually afternoon, after 12 o'clock. Uh, just hit about 1 o'clock, actually. Welcome to Build Day 11. I got my Monday morning business errands done, end of the season. It took a while. Left about 8.30 and I didn't get home until about quarter to noon. <laughs> Almost noon. Had lunch, and we've been out here kind of putzing around trying to get some stuff cleaned up. And now we're ready to start do, doing some hop business. But I wanted to show you, uh, we picked up another bin of pumpkins. But I wanted to show you some of the stuff we have on the patio for the haunt. We've got star gourds, regular gourds, regular pumpkins, which is what I just got done picking up. And I picked up more swan gourds. And this is a bin of mixed pumpkins I was selling at the market. And we sold quite a few. This one was heaped up and over as well. And we took about 30 of them to the market and brought 10 home. Ugh. And there's still a lot of pumpkin in there. So Ann is going to be using that to do two pumpkin piles in the uh, photo op and in other places throughout the haunt so uh, she'll be having fun with that when we get to the, get to the point where she's going to be doing that uh, other than that we're getting ready to start work on the driveway and getting it closed off we got home last night spent we got home 5 30 we're out here to about eight we got the trailer parked in its position got it unloaded got all the business stuff taken care of now kaylee and i have to move the truck i need the truck off the driveway which means during the day we will be parking it in front of the haunt and in the evening we'll pull up right in here and block the haunt that way people don't drive into the haunt and believe it or not we get a lot of idiots that like to do u-turns and they don't pay attention to things we've had cars bumped into bushes ran over but uh we are going to get going out here first order of business is i've got to get the pillars out get them into place with their gates with their arches and morgan's going to bring my toppers out to go on each of the pillars so we'll get the pillars totally set up. I've got to drag a hose out here in order to uh, get water in the pillars. And then uh, we are going to start with the la uh, last part of the clown. With this wall here, and we're going to do a path going out. We got another, uh, what is it, the jack in the box that sits here, and the exit hall. That will close off this side of the, the haunt and then we'll have the exit gate shut and locked i'm gonna have a couple of partitions to put in here in between the exit and the entrance and those all attach to the exit portion and then we've got the entrance we've got to put out and a, and a fence panel that goes from the entrance over to the fence and then kaylee bless her little heart will be able to spend all her time out here with me if she wants I'll leave the door, uh, door propped open as long as it's warm out here and she can come and go all day long and just have a ball and I won't have to worry about having to watch her because once it's done, that front end is done, she won't be able to get off the property. Now, breakfast of the day. Time, some hamburgers, just basic hamburgers. I went down to a uh, last night and picked up bag -o burgers and it's a bag of five basic hamburgers it's got lettuce a little bit of ketchup a pickle on it and some fry sauce and you get five of them in a bag i picked up 10 regular hamburgers and 10 cheeseburger bag bagos so i'm going to be eating hamburgers for lunch the next couple of days so will morgan morgan likes them too so uh that's your breakfast of the day now i'm going to put this down we got a lot to do today Let's see where we can get to. Hey guys. It is going on about 3.30. And after yesterday and the morning I've had, 
Ram is tired and Ram is not moving very quick. But we did get the entrance and exit pillars fully assembled and into place. And I figured you needed another clip other than the opening. There's that one. I don't feel like backing out in the street to get a bigger, better view. <laughs> so there's that. We got that done. Now, I need to work on partitioning. I've got a wall that runs from there out to about the crack here and over to the exit pillar. And I have a little stub wall that runs from the crack over to the curb and this hole is going to be for the jack-in-the-box and people will come in go down the grass and then out this way so jack-in-the-box and exit now I have one panel I need to put in here and I held off on putting it in originally because I wasn't sure how the pillar was going to set but it runs from here to here and that will close off this portion of the photo op I've got three panels to put in here that will close off this part of the driveway and I'll extend that off the uh, wall that comes up to this pillar. And I've got a fence that I need to put over there in that gap between the pillar and the bush to keep that furry little thing on the property. Right now she's got too many holes she can get out on. But by this time tomorrow that will be rectified. I hope. But that's kind of what we've gotten done. Uh, Morgan's been bringing some partitions out and helping out that way. Uh, she helped unload all the pumpkin and everything else. Uh, I'm just spent. I don't know how far I'm going to get. I am moving slower and slower and I'm sitting more and more taking breaks and then trying to get back up again. It's just like, ugh, I don't want to move. <sighs> but I got to move. Things aren't going to get done if I don't move. Okay, uh, it's going on 6.30. Time for dinner. <laughs> I'm running late. Uh, we're, going to, we're doing help yourself tonight. Plus, Luann doesn't have to cook. But I figured I'd show you what we've gotten done so far. Okay, we got the photo op. The front gate. enter and exit uh, signage is going up tomorrow and also tomorrow I'm thinking before I get too much of the maze built it's time to get the fence panels out tiny and the 10 foot witch and we need to get the photo op done at least with them I also got to come in and trim the rose bush down and hopefully Sue ends up for coming out and getting the burlap on it. Uh, I don't know if we'll do any pump start any pumpkin piles or not. But the uh, ten foot witch is going here. Tiny's going to be going over there. And I don't know if we'll put the projection screen in between the two this year or back over here where we had it last year. I do know the fence line is going to go from here either out to here and then over or if i'll stop it at the garden and run it over to the pillar my thinking is uh the foot that on the fence for the fencing that goes out here uh there's a slope there and it doesn't sit level and i like having it sit level so i'll probably stop it right there and just go over this way with it I don't know. I'll have to take a look at it tomorrow. But on the inside, and we got a pretty Kaylee in the way. Can Daddy come in? Huh? Watch out. Uh, we got all the partitions up. I still need to do the bracing, and I'm going to do that after dinner. Where are you at? There you are. Just gotta keep an eye on the dog. People are parking and walking over to the restaurant and looking this way. But I've got to get the bracing on in here. And I've got to get the clown display skinned. And I might do the exit hall itself too. 
that won't take too many panels but I've got to dig those out and it depends on how much energy I have so we're gonna go that way I got bracing and some skinning to do but other than that the front ends totally closed off which means my little baby can be out here with me he's right with me now right there probably a half-ass look at her <laughs> he don't care anyway I'll talk to you later okay end of the day it's going on 8 45 I'm calling it quits I think I show you what I've gotten done uh, we did get the clown done and we turn on my headlamp here so you can see they come out of the box clown here pirates over there into here and we'll have the jack-in-the-box and then I've got a lamp with a skull. We dress up as a clown. That's going to go in there. Still need to get a fence panel in there. And possibly a fence panel in here, too. Depends. I've got to take measurements. Uh, as far as the exit hallway itself, there's going to be a wall or a curtain here. And this is all going to be exit. This is getting the uh, courtyard panels. And they're buried at the moment, so I can't get to them. Not when it's dark. Oop, blinding there with my headlamp on. Sorry. Uh, and of course, we got the front end done. Uh, I'm going to call it quits. Let me get cleaned up. And then we'll be back for your end of the day wrap up. Okay, end of the day wrap up. Now, I'm surprised I made it this late after yesterday and everything i am wore out seems like each time i sit down to take a break i'm sitting longer and longer and longer but we actually did make it someplace today uh started out with some end of the season season business errands uh got those done also dropped flyers off at seven different places uh, Kaylee enjoyed it. She got to get out of three or four of them. <laughs> uh, little darling is too tired to be out here for the wrap-up. She sprawled out in the living room. Weiss said she's been snoring for about an hour now. <laughs> she's just out of it. Uh, we got home, and she was out here off and on all day with me. Just having a ball. <laughs> uh stopped by one of our growers picked up another bin of pumpkin and I showed that to you in an earlier clip of all the different stuff we're going to have we're using for pumpkin piles throughout the haunt uh, as far as actual work we got the whole front end of the haunt closed off so little Kaylee can run around out here to her heart's content and I don't have to try to keep an eye on her or worry about her so she's pretty much boxed in, uh, but the front end is, to is totally put together, uh, and we've got the rest of the clown and the exit all partitioned, braced, and I got the clown skinned. Uh, the exit portion of that is going to have to wait till tomorrow. It's just too light, too dark, and I'm just too damn tired. To try hunting down the correct wall panels that go in there. As for tomorrow's work, uh, I don't know which we're going to do first as far as haunt building. I do know I've got to mow the backyard, blow all the leaves because we've been having uh, windstorms lately. And the, this time of year, I'm getting a lot of leaves. I got a little clean up on the patio and I got to clean Kaylee's pool probably for the last time. It's starting to get a little too chilly at night. Things haven't iced over yet, but I don't I don't know how much longer we're going to leave that pool set up. It's a, you know, kitty wading pool. More like an oversized drinking bowl for her. She drinks out of it more than she wades in it. Uh we get that done, I have a few more errands to do, basically to drop flyers off. 
three or four places to hit, and one of them is Home Depot, which Kaylee will like. Uh, I, one of the stops, I should say, I'm not going to be dropping the flyers off at Home Depot. Uh, I've got to get a, another 8 foot long 2 by 10 to finish off the uh, pond in the uh, box clown display. I think when we get home, I'm just going to put the lumber in there and I'll worry about fitting it when I go to do the decorating in there. Uh, once we do get home, I'm going to be kind of all over the place. I've got to get the exit skins, the skins for the exit hallway out here and get them installed. I want to get our hours sign up. Now I'm handing out flyers. I need to have the sign up with our hours and dates. And since the driveway is locked up, I need to get our temporary mailbox out here. Uh, I also got to get the fencing for the clown area. And I want to get the mech for the jack-in-the-box enclosure, which I just did tonight. I need to get all its pieces out here and just sat in that display. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put it together tomorrow. Though I'm tempted to. <laughs> but I need to get all the parts and pieces out here. Because that thing, the mech mechanism for it is uh, pretty big. And it, it's a pain in the ass trying to get it out here to begin with. But to have to try to walk the maze with it. It's just, uh-uh. Get it out here now before we get the driveway maze going. Uh, so I got that to do. And then I want to touch on the photo op. I'm not going to get everything done in there that needs to be done. But I do need to get the bush shaved. I need to get the fences up. And I want to get Tiny and the 10 foot witch in. You know, so I'm going to be working on those items tomorrow. How far we get on it, I don't know. Uh, I do know the hour sign and especially the temporary mailbox needs to get done first thing before I do anything else out here. And then I might go and dig out the uh, courtyard panels that I need for the exit hall and just get those set in the display so I can install them l later in the day. And then hop over and start working on the uh, photo hall. Not photo hall, but photo op. <sighs> photo op really shouldn't take all that long. The longest part doing that is doing Tiny and the 10 foot witch. And I gotta figure out a name for her. I'm tired of calling her the 10 foot witch. How about Broomhilda? What do you guys think of Broomhilda? Or do you have any recommendations for that 10 foot wall, tall witch? What's a good name for? Put it down in the comments, either on Facebook or here on YouTube. Uh, with that, I'm going to go get you edited and I'm going right to bed. Edited and uploaded and then right to bed. So, stay spooky. Stay toxic.